O oh, most gracious and holy Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for each and every one that is listening to me under the sound of my voice. Oh, God, move by your spirit on today's broadcast. Touch the lives of the listeners. Touch my life, God. And Lord, we just thank you, Father, for the life of our guest on today, Fags, from London in the UK. Father, continue to bless his life, his ministry, his family, his his business, whatever he is embarking on in this new season, Father. Turn it around, Father, and continue to uh, pour back into him as he pour back out to his uh, family, to his community, to everyone he uh, reaches, Father. Lord, we just thank you, Father, that you continue to raise up somebody, somewhere, to use their power and on most of all their influence to help us. Because it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Y'all, it is time for the RH3 show. Let's go. I gotta go. <laughs> Live from North Carolina, it's the RH3 show. I was scared to go over the edge. Look, I do no, I do this for nobody but my cause. Because God first. Didn't my cause. I done been down and I done been counted out. I done been overlooked. Because your, your listeners are, are, you know, international. They're worldwide. The RH3 show starts right now. I gotta pray because he set me free. Right then he paid free me at Calvary. I'm gonna dance and there's no stopping me. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, family? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Arts 3 Show, and welcome to another great day, another great hour. Y'all, let's go ahead and get started with today's show. Let's go ahead with, we got kitchen table talk starting off today, so let's come on, pull up your chair, let's have a conversation. Hope y'all got y'all snacks already. You can just chill and eat and, you know, whatever while I'm here and talking to you all. So pull up a chair. All right, it is time for our kitchen table talk. All right, pull up a chair. Let's have a conversation. It's time for our kitchen table talk. All right, you all, it is our kitchen table talk segment. And you all, this is where we just sit back and relax and relieve our mind and enjoy today's show with a great conversation starting off. And then, you know, hey, this is what we do. This is what we do. You all, happy in the States here. We celebrate um, and honor those who have served in our um, armed forces. And so we want to say today, happy Veterans Day to all of the veterans, all of those who have served all of those who have served, all of those who have served. We want to say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for those who have so graciously um, uh, put their life on hold with their family, their friends, their loved ones to serve, you know, the country of the United States. And so, um, you know, we just want to say thank you. Thank you to our veterans and um, those who um, who, you know, uh, shall we say those who um, have had many trips or many um, tours or um, deployments. Uh, we want to say thank you to you all. And I want to honor a few on today. Thank you to my fellas, um, my best friend, Robert Jr., he, uh, I've been knowing him all of my life since I was in preschool. Y'all hear me mention him periodically, not as much, but periodically. Thank you, Junior, for your service. Thank you to, um, you know, a lot of folks that I know. But those these two guys in my life um, for, oh, no, three. Um, my boy, Darian we've been tight since the sixth grade and so I just want to say thank you to him for serving and thank you to many other family members and uh many other friends thank you so very much um Robert Jr thank you so much Darian 
Uh, it is. It's a few others who I just want to say thank you to. Thank you to. Thank you to. Thank you to. Thank you to one of my fellow co-workers, one of my team members, um, LaShawn Noble. Uh, thank you for your service. Um, who else? Um, it's a few others. It's a few others. Um, I just can't get them off the top of my head. Uh Robert Nichols, we call him Shorty. Thank you so much for your service. Um, who else? Let's see here. I know I'm missing some. A few of my family. Um, and those who these are ones who you know have served and they may be serving you know in other capacities um, right now. But you know those who are not away. You know again, thank you for those who are serving and, and and even for you know it's not Memorial Day, but still thank you for those who have passed on, whether they passed um, while serving or passed you know out of service and in home or whatever. Uh, we remember and honor them. Thank you to those. Uh, individuals thank you to those who are currently serving um, those you know in various uh, branches or whatever thank you so much thank you to my brother um, Craig Bo Walker thank you so very much uh, you know I, we honor and appreciate you and share so much you know love and appreciation to each and every one of uh, you especially you, you know you, you're doing a great job or whatever and um it is a whole lot of others that I can think of. But last but not least, thank you most certainly, but not least. It's just, you know, it goes without question. Yeah, our friend to the show, friend in my life, uh, my best friend, my AP, Mr. Bling Boss King, GW Legends. Thank you so very much for your honor and uh, your courage and you know, you're serving. Thank you so very much for serving. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you so much for your the time that you've given uh, during service or whatever. And those who I have missed, um, I'm coming off the top of my head, but um, um, to my elder, um, Clinton Starks, Thank you so much for your service. We honor and appreciate uh, you. And it's, it's again, it's a few others. And my, another best friend of mine, he's a pastor, um, Pastor Tony Snipes, thank, Antonio Snipes. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you so much. But then again, like I said, I'm continuing with uh, what I was saying about uh, GW. Thank you so much for your service and, you know, your life. And we, we, each and every one of these guys and women who I, um, mention the RH3 show, give you your verbal flowers, your virtual flowers on today. And so we just honor and appreciate each and every one of you all, each and every one of you all. And so thank you. Thank you so much for your service. And you know, Hey, we we appreciate you. We appreciate you. How have y'all day been, y'all? How have y'all day been on today? Today was okay for me. I got out the house today before work. Went to um, uh, the church office. Not really the church office office, but the church building to um, sit and uh, uh, do some things with. Um, now, I, I wasn't doing any much because I'm still trying to rest and convalesce or whatever while I'm not, you know, on air. So just on air, just sitting down, running my mouth and talking to my people, y'all. But um, other than that, that's all I did. They had did some installation in the department that I am a director or of. And so I um, was there part of the time. And so, yeah. Um, not only that, uh, that was it got up fixed breakfast and did some promo work for some stuff that'll be announced on monday and so yeah uh well you probably have seen it last you probably seen it on sunday probably seen it on sunday and so we all probably will see it on sunday you probably will see it on sunday but um, a big announcement, not big announcement, but we got our co-host week lined up 
And uh, we got our co-host uh, planned to come in and enjoy the show for us, enjoy the week of Thanksgiving with us. And so, yeah. And uh, we got a little small, small miniature uh, fall break coming up. And so, um, yeah, we we going to rock and chill. Um, yeah, the, the, the week. And um, hopefully one of those days uh well i'm talking about the week of the 29th um uh maybe about thursday and friday or just friday come back live broadcast and then prepare ourselves for the christmas holiday i don't know why folks y'all really is throwing away uh -uh. i got my window open here at the office and Somebody in the other covers, um, the other um, building over, blowing a horn right here at the parking space near. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, and so, what was I saying? I was thrown off. I think I was talking about the, you know, Christmas break. And so, oh, 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 oh about y'all um, throwing away Thanksgiving for christmas okay yeah we celebrating jesus's birth <laughs> but we got to give thanks for his life thanks for you know whatever and thanks for what he given to us so let's not throw away christmas <clears throat> yeah we got a jam-packed show coming up uh we got we got a guest here today he's gonna call up and enjoy uh, the day with us, rest of the um, broadcast with us. So keep it where you got it. We got an Ask Rufus letter coming up in just a minute. And then we got Fags from London in the UK with us. All right. Be back with more of the RH3 show. I love you all for real. Be back in a moment. It's a fall. Faith and family November to remember. And thanks for giving month right here on the RH3 show. Join us for the entire month as we bring the family closer with a real talk with the Rufus discussion. We got different topics to help build up each unit so you just don't want to miss it. I and also on Thursday, November the 11th, we got Figs from London in the UK to join us to talk about his brand new music, life, and just a general conversation. You don't want to miss it. And also co-host listeners Join us as we invite you all to communicate with us and send in information on who and what you are thankful for. I right? you don't want to miss it. It's a season of harvest, and it's also a November to remember. Right here on the RH Three Show. The RH Three Show. For more about the broadcast and info on how to listen or watch from where you are, please visit the RH Three Show dot com. The following content of this episode of the RH What I just told you, that's how I up. felt. That's how I so you felt. Say, if I wanted to say that, I would have wrote it. I well, you said, implied that. I said what I said. Need some advice? Got a question for me? Or you just need help solving a problem? It is the Ask Rufus Letters right here on the RH3 Show. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We're back. Uh, for our <laughs> Ask Rufus letter, and uh, y'all, anyway, anyway, we're back, we're back. I got a simple letter, it's not really a letter, letter, but it's a scenario. It's a scenario that I gotten from, um, a, a well, I'm about to say another, but a, um, what you want to call him, a motivational speaker or whatever. And I got it from his page and I wanted to read it on air because I just, I see, I glimpsed that and I was like, oh, oh, I ain't going to finish reading this. I'm going to read it on air. But the title of it is called A Man is Dating Two Ladies at a Time. A Man is Dating Two Ladies at a Time. Amanda and Brenda. <laughs> he told Amanda, there's Brenda. But only, but told Brenda she was the only one he's dating. Who 
does he love the most? I feel that he loves Brenda the most. Why? Is because he's dating Brenda. Listen to me. He's dating Brenda. He might be a difference, well, you know, opinion. But this is my thought. He's dating Brenda. Amanda comes along. And he told Amanda about Brenda. But then told Brenda he she was the only one he's dating. He don't see nothing in Amanda. Because he ain't say nothing about Amanda. He just said, you know, Amanda tried to come in, try to do a sneak. Oh, wait a minute. Nah. I'm talking to the chick named Brenda. And then Brenda come along. Brenda knows she's the only one he's dating. Who do he love? He loves Brenda. So, Brenda, girl. <laughs> you got yourself a good one. Because he, 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 he made it. He made it. Uh, he made it plain and simple from both of them. He told the truth to Amanda. He told the truth to Brenda. But he didn't tell Brenda about Amanda. But still, it really doesn't matter because Amanda know about Brenda. You know? It really don't matter. This is what I be trying to tell folks. Look, if you come to me, don't come to me about a situation that you had with somebody else. If you defended me or if you whatever, I don't need to know about it. I don't need to know about it. If you defended me and you handled what you needed to handle and, you know, somebody came to you about me and if you handled it, handled it, that's all I needed to know is you handled it. I don't need to know about no situations or whatever. And I might not need to know about that. You probably won't even have to tell me that. But. Let me know what you say about me behind closed doors. This man, uh, um, uh, behind closed doors, told Amanda about Brenda. Boom. He told Amanda that there's Brenda, but told Brenda she's the only one dating. That's all. That's all Brenda needed to know, unless she find out. Amanda can't be calling. Amanda won't be calling because Amanda. No, that there's Brenda. All right? And if Amanda try to pull some stuff on it, Amanda wrong. And and the dude wrong too for 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 you know playing into Amanda. But I don't even think that's a problem. Alright, be back with more of the R Street Show. We got our guests on the phone and holding. Be back in a moment with our guests for today. Thanks. What's going on? Hold on a second, partner. We'll be back. Alright? Sometimes you get a pre-show, sometimes you get an after-show, but you do get behind the scenes of the RH3 show, and sometimes I may give you transparency and let you follow me. I am a personal life. Follow me on Instagram at the RH3 show. I check my stories out. Check my page out. Follow me today. This is real life. We show real love and we also have real conversations, all from a Christian male perspective. It's the Real Talk with Rufus right here on the RH3 show. What's going on, everybody? We are back. Uh, our first guest uh, is um, his first time on the show, and I've had the pleasure to converse with him, you know, throughout uh, prior to him coming on the show. And so I want you all to join me in welcoming um, our guest on today. And it's a really honor and a privilege to to have him on the show. He is a uh, Nigerian-born artist uh, from South London in the UK. And so, if you will, welcome Fegs to the RH3 show. Welcome to the show. How are you doing on today? I'm here, man. 
<laughs> you did a, hey that was a hey, okay that was right on point I, that was right on point so that was good that was good thank you so much for joining us on the show on today yeah thank you for having me Yes, and so, um, listen, this, even whenever I, um, uh, gotten the, um, the, uh, notice to, to, you know, have you on the show or whatever, it was my first time hearing from you, so give me a backstory of, of, of who Fegs is, I, I love to, 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 um, to, to start off, you know, knowing about who my guests are, and so, you know, sh- shout that out, you know, to me and yeah. to the, to the audience. Yeah, no problem. Um, so my name um, is Fegs, F-E-G-S, and um, it stands for Forever God's Son. But, you know, um, the story was interesting. Um, I grew up in a place called Lewisham in South London, mm-hmm. and everybody knew me by Fegs, mm-hmm. but it was F-E-G, I think you guys say Z, mm-hmm. F-E-G-Z. Mm-hmm. And um, so it was just short for my, my surname. Apologies for the noise. There's bonfire night over here, so people are going crazy with fireworks. Listen, so that's fine. <laughs> but um, but um, so obviously I am. Um, I used to be known as Fegs anyway. Um, but um, when I came to Christ, I wanted to change my name because of the association with Fegs. It had a bit of negative, you know, connotations, and then yeah. So I wanted to come to Christ, and I was like, oh, let me change my name. Uh, I think it was 2016. I was like, I want to change my name and, you know, pursue Christ um, with the music. And then God, I felt like God said, don't change your name. Your name is still Fegs. Just change the Z to an S. And then he let me know that now my name means forever God's son. Um, forever God's son. So, um, yeah, that's that's basically been the journey. And I started making, releasing music 2016. Um when one of my good friends died, uh, he got stabbed, unfortunately, and so I started on SoundCloud with No Knife, and mm-hmm. yeah, that's been the journey thus far. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was, you know, uh, I, that's a good one, and I didn't, I thought that was, you know, uh, I, uh, to be honest with you, I didn't know what that meant, and so uh, I wanted to really, you know, get into the 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 history behind of what your yeah. your abbreviation meant and so again you said uh what year you started um your music uh 2016 2016 and did yeah. that it, it did that start your 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 love for music or did that start you know your process of sing your single or your album or oh. you know whatever oh um, because I, I always grew up in church because um mm-hmm. my dad was um pastor so right. I was pl- I've been playing drums from probably the age of like five four five mm-hmm. so I really had like music but I kind of you know went astray from that for a lot of years and then I don't know God was just constantly chasing me like bring me back like music is where your heart is because you know I remember I was in school and I was doing keyboard lessons and <laughs> unfortunately I got kicked out of lessons and um <laughs> so it's like every time I run away from it it's like it's always been there. So I've been doing music for quite a while. Um, but I'll say officially, you know, I started releasing music 2016. But I had um, been doing work prior to that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, tell me about your, your current, uh, what you've been promoting, your current mu- your current single. Oh, I'm a little baby. I, I've been hearing Bahamas loves that one. The that girl is my baby, sweet sweet lady. Yes. <laughs> so um, yeah, the song is called I'm a little baby, and um, you know, I was chatting to my team, and we were thinking, you know, when you go to weddings, you know, like I know some sometimes you want to dance to something that makes you want to thank God, and you know, so I thought. Why don't we come up with something that will have everybody, you know, you're going to a celebration and you're still feeling like you're worshipping God and, you know, having a great time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so, um, that's the song right now, A Manager Baby, um, is the song we're promoting. We've also got another song, um, you're hearing it here first. Mm-hmm. It's coming out on the 28th of November. It's called Dalo. And basically in Ibo, um, in Nigeria, because uh, I'm from um, the Ibo tribe, and um, 
it means thank you dalo that means it dalo it means like thank you so we've got a new song basically thanking god for life you know because every day is a testimony man because you don't know what god has been protecting you from you know so yeah so as uh, get ready for dalo 28th of november I can't and wait. yeah it's a vibe <laughs> thank you so much brother Yes, I can't wait. And um, are, are these um, individual singles, or have do you have an album out um, um, for your music? Yeah, um, basically, right now we're just releasing singles because um, mm-hmm. what happened was um, from 2016 to uh, about 2018, I was releasing music steadily, but on SoundCloud, and then. Obviously, um, I was still balancing university, so mm-hmm. now that I've graduated from university, now um, we're more, f- more, more focused on the music, so like levels have changed in terms of the production, is more quality now, so right now we're just releasing singles, but I did, do have an album from, it was like an EP from 2018, but it wasn't the same quality, because obviously um, now I've got a team behind me and whatnot, so... Yeah, I, I don't want to spoil it too much for everybody, but we've got a project coming, yeah. Yes, I can't wait to, to hear that. And so, like I said, I love your um, your music and, you know, what you've got going on in regards yeah. to that. And so, um, just a little free conversation. Um, tell us about Fig. What, what you like to do in your, in your free time? You know, um, in my free time, you know, I like to just get a bit of fresh air because, you know, Obviously, now I finished with university, so I do quite a bit of music. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it, it, you can't always be in the studio, man. <laughs> if you're always in the studio, like it, it will do your head, and you'll be like, "Oh my gosh, I keep hearing that piano. I need to get out." Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, so sometimes I get fresh. Uh, um, I like to play a game birth to me in Nigeria, mm-hmm. and then as soon as she gave birth to me, after a few months, we flew to London. So I've grown up in London pretty much my whole life thus far, and. Yeah, so I, I grew up in London, but, you know, so I've always had this issue with, you know, Nigerians tell me, but you're not really Nigerian because you grew up in London, but London is telling me, but you were born in Nigeria, but, so, exactly. I just thought, you know, I'm the Nigerian-born South Londoner. <laughs> exactly, and, and, you know, it's like the best of both, you know, the best of both worlds or whatever. Yeah. You add that on to your, to your uh, biographical sketch or whatever, yeah. so. That, like, like, even... Even in the music, you know, like with a manager baby, mm-hmm. um, I, I mixed up a bit of English, a bit of uh, Nigerian English. Like I go, where can I go? Give to you, Baba. You know, it's like adding a bit of Nigerian lingo, a bit of British. Mm-hmm. You know, I just try to mix it up. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, being that you said that you were. Uh, you just, you know, graduated from the university. What was your major? Oh, um, biomedical science. Wow. Wow, biomedical uh, science. Ni- so. It's because I'm Nigerian, man. It's, you didn't, you got- <laughs> yes, I get it. I, I get it. And uh, because, uh, you know, I have a few, uh, you know, f- uh, Nigerian friends and Liberian friends here. And, you know, their parents are, you know, very not strict strict but strict on education and really big on education and, and yeah, where, you're, true. where you're going and, and you know deep yeah. in you know uh, the profession or whatever and so I, yeah. I totally get it and so do you see yourself doing anything with your um with your degree um if i'm being honest um i don't really see myself doing anything with the degree because um I'm, I'm also trying to pursue the music so um i think that degree was just to you know just keep my mom at bay like don't worry mom all is well don't worry you know i'm still at book smart but you know but <laughs> we're doing music now do you know mm-hmm. um yeah mm-hmm. honestly so because for me personally i feel like music has always been there because um you know, one of the things I'm trying to do through the music is try to show young people and everybody that it's still cool to live for Jesus, you know, because exactly. um, I remember, it's true, I, I remember my first encounter with, like, youthful gospel, it was Kurt Franklin's song Revolution, and um, my mom was always playing that Nigerian songs in the car, and I was like, okay, mom, yeah, okay, here's another, you know, that old school song, and then one day, 
when I heard this, like, book of revelations, preach, preacher, for God's a weapon away. I'm like, where's this, mum? And I remember that changed my whole perspective on gospel. I remember telling my mum, play that again, play that again, play revelation. And, you know, Kurt Franklin, like, you know, he's one of the, um, funny enough, he's one of the people that I would say that God used to really spark, like, a light in terms of, wow, that like, you can actually still praise God in your own way, you yes. fool, and that's, yeah, and that's what, one of the stuff I, that's what I do now, even, um, the next song coming, Dalo, like, you're gonna hear, like, vibes that you're like, wow, this is so, it's, it's still gospel, but there's, like, anyone can play it, you can play it in the club, you can play it anywhere, you can play it in the church, you can play it at party weddings, so, yeah, that's the aim, um, bro. Mm-hmm. And so I, yeah. I get it because that's how I was with, with uh, I don't know if you heard of him, but Canton Jones, he's out of, um, he's out of. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yes, he's out of Atlanta, Georgia. And um, I love his music. And I was, and again, I tell the story even on air. You know, I always listen to music. I was heavy in listening to rap and all of that. But I went, once I, you know, decided to change my life over, I'm like, I don't want to give up music. I don't want to, you know, whatever. And listening to his music, gospel rap, him, Lecrae, and a few others. Yeah, Lecrae. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's another one who um, inspired me. You know, and, and the passion, he was, it was it's so raw. Like, I remember he had the song and he said something like, he took his wifey on a mission trip, took her to Central America. Right. And I was like, I felt the passion. I was like, wow, like, you can rap like this. Mm-hmm. And it's still gospel, you know. It was, it was mind-blowing. Exactly. And, and, you know, one of his songs, It's Your Birthday, Shawty. I'm like, okay, okay, wow. <laughs> I love it. And so I'm like, okay, I can vibe to this, you know. Yeah, because like, I think there's one where he's like, oh, I'm turned. I was like, yeah. I'm turned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turned for Jesus, you know, for yeah, real. Yeah, so yeah. that was... That was that was cool though. I I really, I that really made me pull back from hip hop, hip hop rap, and all of that. And so, cause yeah. I was heavy East Coast, West Coast, you know, whatever. And so, um, that that was I get it, I get it totally, I get it totally. Cause like how I like to explain it is, um, you know, I feel like the Bible was talking, I think somewhere in Peter about. Like when you're dealing with babes, you feed you feed them milk, mm-hmm. you know. And it reminds me of when when we were when we were kids, and when right. your parents wanted to give you medication, like they wouldn't just give it to you like in a full dose because you might not like it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, but if they made it sweet mm-hmm. in a way that you you know you would like something that you could relate to, it's like you would have the medicine, and that's what I do with the music. So it's like when they listen to the music, they're like, wait, is this gospel? But then they listen carefully, like, oh, this is gospel. But you can still dance, you can still praise, you know, you can still shake a leg, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, yeah, man. And that's really it, really. Absolutely. You're right. You hit that one on the on the head. I mean, you know, and that's why I try to tell even the younger folks now to even pull back to, um, you know, to pull back and, and well, not really pull back, but pull them back to Christ and uh, and yeah. you know, let them know it's it's okay. I mean, you know, don't feel bad or whatever. And it's 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 um you know cool to live for for Jesus. You still got music out here to uh yeah. to listen to. Yeah, it's it's true. You know, I remember um, when I was in uni. Um, I used to, when I was uh, releasing some music in uni. I remember I, I would ask like my roommates, can you hear this in the club? And I remember one of them was like, what do you mean? Like, it's gospel. And I was like, yeah, but salvation is for everybody. Right. You know? Jesus said, go into the world and preach the gospel to all the creatures, not just some. So it's for everybody. So, you know, salvation is for everybody. And um, that's one of the main things I try to do. Like, I still keep it, you know, Christ, you know, Christ-centered. But, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, the message is still for everybody, you know. Um, it's, it's quite interesting because um, some people that listen to um, the music I make, they're not even Christians. Like, some of them are Muslims. And, you know, it's, 
for me, sometimes I'm like, but I said Jesus, you know, I, I'm talking about Jesus, right? Like, yeah, don't worry, brother, we, we like the song. That's, right, that's what right. Me, yeah. And so that, and I'm glad you said that. I said that on air somewhat the other day. I have a, a friend of mine in, in high school, well, that I grew up with from high school, and so... Um, she, she don't believe in Jesus, but she believe in there's a God or whatever. And so I, I, they know my status. They know, you know, my faith and all of that. And so she, you know, shared a post on my, where she shared something, a picture of mine or something on Facebook and was like, one thing I like about you. And she said, my nickname red or whatever, uh, is that you, um, don't judge nobody and you know you living right and you know this that and that that threw me off like okay she know i worship god she know i worship you know jesus love on jesus and all of that and so the life that i live is it 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 speaks whenever people are watching and it just you know it it you know your life speaks to whoever it you know could be muslim you know agnostics you know whoever it's true Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you know um, the Bible helps us understand how the world earnestly waits for the manifestation of the, the children of God. So the world is waiting for us to come out. And like the Bible also says that when you have a lamp, you don't hide it underneath the table. You bring it out for the world to see. So clearly there's the, the light within you, you know, like they can see the Jesus in you. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's, that's, that's what it is, brother. Like they can see that, you know, there's something about you. They, they didn't know what it is, but we know it's Jesus. Exactly. So there's something about Brother Red. I don't right. know what it is about that brother, but there's something about him. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's what we do, you know. Like, it, it's, it's so funny because, um, like, when people hear the music, for example, Amalitia Baby, it just had people moving, like, pe- so many people are dancing and enjoying it, and I'm telling them, but it's still gospel. Some some people try to call it something else. I'm like, no, it's still gospel, man. It's still gospel, and exactly. you know, but clearly the the light is there, and it's you know, it's a dark world. But you know, as the world gets darker, that means our light is getting brighter. So let's just continue to you know provide hope and you know help the world you know get to know Jesus through us. Through us, exactly, exactly. Before we uh. Uh, great conversation, great conversation. Before we close out on the show, I'm going to ask you five just random questions. It's about, you know, not five, but seven random questions and, uh, you know, just general or whatever. And so I kind of play, uh, you know, a few games with my guests or whatever. And so if you want to, um, you know, uh, you know, just think off the top of your head or whatever. It's just random questions and I, I pick, you know, pick out these questions. So the first question yeah. would be is what would be your best day ever or what would consist of your best day ever? Um, waking up and eating some good jello fries and lamb. Yes. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds good. Good eating. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, girl, Dumplin. Yes, sir. <laughs> Next question, number two. Uh, what would what do you consider your greatest achievement? Um, I, I'm not trying to sound spiritual or anything, but I would say um salvation because it feels good to know that I'm walking every day, knowing that I have a purpose. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I love it. Um, whether it is an actor in your area or actor here in the States or whatever, but who would you uh who would play you in a movie? Well, that's a good question, you know. <laughs> I'm thinking of actors but I don't mind, if I don't say my little brother, because I have a little brother, he's over there in the States. Uh-huh. He's gonna come for me, so I'll just say my my little brother because he's seen Story. <laughs> that's cool. Hey, if if that's you know you want to choose your brother, that that's cool. That's cool. Um, name one thing that's on your bucket list. Okay, go tour in the world. Tour in the world. All right. Yeah. That's cool. Um, what is number? And this is number five. We got two more questions. Number five. What's your favorite gadget? My favorite gadget. Um. I know this sounds very nerdy. Probably my MIDI keyboard that I used to produce instrumentals. Mm-hmm. 
Dang. Yeah, my keyboard. <laughs> that was that was one of my, you know, growing up, I used to, you know, have a keyboard under my bed and just play it often. So I feel you on that. Yeah. I feel you. Number six, um, what is your treasured current, your current treasured possession? Um, these questions are good, you know. I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, do you know what's so, what's funny? Uh, I have a guitar. Mm -hmm. It was um, I got it when I was like 16. My mom, like, she bought me a guitar just to say, you know, congratulations on your results. Mm -hmm. So she asked me what I want. So I said a guitar. So I guess my guitar. Cool. Cool. I and the last question, it could be a TV show, it could be food, it could be, you know, music, but what's your guilty pleasure? Um, let me think. Um You know, this is this was this was a very interesting one, but you know, I used to like overeat a bit, but I'm mm -hmm. I've started working on it, so I guess that's one thing, you know, it's easy to snack away sometimes, you know. That's fine. So I guess it works. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of snack? You know, like, sometimes it's all a bit of chocolate, a bit of, you know, sweets, but sometimes my management is like telling me, like, oh, thanks, we hope you're not eating all those chocolate bars. I'm like, don't worry. It's, we're cutting down bit by bit, man, bit by bit, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to speak like you, brother Rufus, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel you. I appreciate you. You're a cool dude. I that's uh that's cool. I uh before we close out the show, hey Figs, you got any anything for uh me before we uh close out on the broadcast? Yes, brother. Um, I wanted to ask you, like, so what inspired you to like get into like you know radio and everything? Um, I I I talk about this often, but um, I know with me. Uh, with me, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a introvert first of all, and so I, I'm, I, I stay to myself. You know, just sometimes I stay to myself, and sometimes I, you know, deal with those who I let in my circle. So growing up. I just had a very few, you know, few friends, and that's how I am now as an adult. I just don't let too many people in my circle, and so um, whenever I wasn't hanging out with the few friends that I've had, whether it was my son's mother, whether it, you know, our mutual friends or anybody that I grew up with, I was at home, you know, you know, chilling in my room or whatever. And even with me having having albinism, I I didn't do the sun, you know, that much, and so. With all of that, I, I stayed in the house, listened to radio. I listened to uh, now famed um, uh, radio hosts who either have retired or even still doing um, still doing radio or whatever, or transitioned higher up or whatever. But I just sat in my room and listened to radio, and that's you know when my love of music came in. And so uh, with me watching TV a lot. Uh, listening to talk radio and you know doing all of that that's what my love for for music and entertainment and you know radio came in and so uh, I kind of tossed between my degrees and so once I got my um, I thought about the first degree which was elementary education and you know teaching and I did that for about a a, a, a year or so and then I said I don't want to go into this degree and so I didn't even you know, pursue that education. Then I went into information system. I got that yeah, degree. You. Yeah, I think I heard you say something about schooling when I think you when you interviewed. I don't know if it's Marlene or something like that. Yes. Marlene? Uh huh. Or, uh huh. Marlene. Yeah. yeah. Marlene. Marlene. Uh, Marlene knows. And so yeah. And then I ended up uh, after I didn't want to do information systems. I said, you know what? It my passion for, and that was around the time. Um, I was introduced because I, I had I've been doing the RH three show for eleven years and I did it. I wow. did, I started in YouTube because, like I said, I always wanted to be a talk show host. And whenever I see my friend broadcast on YouTube, I'm like, well, wait a minute, I could do this from the comfort of my home. I can report. Yeah. I can report. Uh, you know, however, and make this up my own platform. And so that's what I did. And so my cousin in maryland dc or whatever she has her own she had her own radio station and so she brought me in 
and it grew from there and so now I'm um I am I had when that radio station had dissolved I had ended up becoming the um the interim manager you know probably part owner of it and so it's going to be opening back up soon or whatever but that's how I yeah. got into radio and you know from if you know from a little child being in the room or whatever and kind of being sheltered because again I'm 5'3 you know shorter shortest amongst my siblings shortest amongst yeah. my my friends or whatever I'm in the house I don't want to be you know whatever listening to music watching talk you know tv and then now up into you know here and so i i just love it i love it and so that's, yeah that's that. uh, hey and, and like all i have to say as well is just keep shining man and don't let anybody dim your light i appreciate that i really do appreciate the encouragement and and you know and and honestly that's that's one thing that i have you know even as a as a grown man I had to to learn to take even encouragement from others even though I give it I had to learn how to do yeah. it. so I really I really appreciate that I really do yeah no problem brother keep shining alright thank you sir uh Figs before we go um would you please let the folks uh give us your social media handle so they can know and your contact information so they can contact you alright no problem y'all Listen, my family, wherever y'all at, this is your boy Figs, man. You know, I got my American accent on right now, and you can find me at Fegs, F-E-G-S, D-O-E. That's Fegs, though. F-E-G-S-D-O-E. Glory God. I'm going to have church up in here, man. <laughs> he, he, that's my brother that's my little brother cool dude thank you so much and so Fags, would you before we go introduce your song because we're going to play that after uh, uh, when we go to commercial break yeah um, this is Fags. I'm going to let your baby I hope you're ready to dance Let's get it. All right, there it is. Uh, keep it more. Keep it where you got it. More of the RS3 show is coming up next. You already know the squad, you know.
Hearts of Fall, Faith and Family, November to Remember, and Thanks for Giving Month, right here on the RH3 Show. Join us for the entire month as we bring the family closer with a Real Talk with the Rufus discussion. we got different topics to help build up each unit, so you just don't want to miss it. I And also, on Thursday, November the 11th, we got Figs from London in the UK to join us to talk about his brand new music, Life. And just a general conversation. You don't want to miss it. And also, co-hosts, listeners, join us as we invite you all to communicate with us and send in information on who and what you are thankful for. All right? You don't want to miss it. It's a season of harvest, and it's also a November to remember right here on The RH3 Show. The RH3 Show. For more about the broadcast and info on how to listen or watch from where you are, please visit the RH3Show.com. Hey, before we go and close out today's broadcast, just take a little, just a brief moment. Let y'all know. Don't forget our people poll question on the website. Um, which one would you choose? It is five on there. No, no particular order that I'm saying it now. But would you choose a personal chef, a nanny, a chauffeur, um, a bodyguard, or a chef? I think. I think I said chef. But anyway, it's five of them. Go select them. This is it's a good people poll question. All right. Be back with more of the RS3 show to close out today's broadcast. And again, Fags, thank you so much for joining us on today. We appreciate you. All right. Talk to y'all in a minute. Your name is stronger than sickness. Oh, you are the strong name. And your name is more powerful than darkness. You are the strong Your name is bigger than mountains. Oh, you are the the strong name. And whatever does and say the same, we will stand and proclaim. It's coming down at your name. For you are the strong name. You are the strong name. Yes, you are, Lord. Listen, Proverbs says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are saved.
coming down at your name. All right, you all. Thank y'all. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you so very much for tuning in to today's broadcast. As I say always, know that. Oh, I want you to know that. Please know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, love God, love yourself. Yes, love yourself and love other people beyond words. For more about me or the broadcast, you can visit our website at thearch3show.com. I'll see you all on tomorrow, I right? Keep it where you got it. Talk. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. See you later. Cause I'm saying bye bye.